I'm Charlotte Ross and I'm the owner of Flock. Just social media, so Facebook and Instagram, um, and it's at Charlotte Ross Tattoos. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a website as of yet, but that's where everybody seems to gravitate to finding me anyway. I've always, I've always wanted my own uh, art studio ever since I was little, and then once I went to uni and found that like, tattooing was my thing that I wanted to go into. Um, it was always an avenue I wanted to go down and have in my own place right from the beginning. Um, and as the years went on of working in different studios, it just kind of drove me more into having my own wee space, really. So, uh, 12 years in the making, really. Ever since I was wee, I've loved birds. Mm -hmm. um, and I have my own birds at home mm -hmm. um, and it's just something that's they've always been in my life and it's a passion of mine I don't know why it is but it is mm -hmm. um, and about it must have been about six years ago I did an exhibition uh, which was part of the Scottish Tattoo Convention in Edinburgh and it was called Flock oh. um, and all my paintings were all birds and um, it just stuck, it was just a name that's stuck in my mind and once I come and saw the flower mill it just kind of fit. <laughs> well nature, all my work is all nature based, mostly floral stuff so mostly what inspires me is just being outside. Um, Everything I grow in my garden is stuff I like to draw. Um, if I'm out and about, I'm always taking photos for references, and um, and that's what then gets turned into paintings, and then usually it gets turned into tattoos. This is the sort of stuff I draw and paint all the time, so it was just really something to get stuck into. I enjoy doing large scale work, but I don't get the chance to really do it, so. Um, there's a few other walls that are about to get tackled <laughs> in here. Well, I'm a painter. Um, I've always painted. Um, and I went to university, I have a degree in fine art. Yeah, I've just always drawn, always painted. And it's where I'm, I've never not wanted to draw or paint. And then you know, you come through high school and you think, right, well, how can I actually make a living from that? And then I, you know, turned 18, started getting tattooed and it was an avenue I never really thought about when I was younger. I never really had anybody like in my family or my friends or that that had tattoos. And so I didn't really know how you got into it until I started getting tattooed. And it just become this thing I couldn't stop thinking about. Um, and yeah, and then so I started to look into it and just kept drawing and uh, painting and then I got my apprenticeship and uh, yeah so I've been tattooing about 12 and a half years now but painting has always come bef before tattooing so it's always kind of navigated where my tattooing's gone. If I get a bit stagnant in my tattooing I then refer back to my painting and um, get stuck in with that and then it then progresses my tattooing even further. Um, so it kind of, it all goes hand in hand, really. Opening flock. Everything's been working towards opening this place for years. Every studio I've worked in, every tattooist I've worked with, I've learnt what to do, what not to do. Um, Every studio's ran totally differently. So you do have to like figure out how you want to do it in your own way. But you know, I've got a lot of people around me that have so much experience and knowledge that um I've really like absorbed everything I could. Um and and yet yeah, it's it's all it's all been for this 
you know, to get me my own wee space to just get my head down and do my work, really. <laughs> Flock, open a <laughs> um, Like I said, it's, it's, everybody opens a tattoo studio differently. They have their own way of doing it. And so there's no two ways it's the same. So along the way, I've had friends giving me advice and help, but you have to navigate it yourself. You know, you have to deal with local councils and licensing and all that. So you do hit roadblocks and I did hit roadblocks. So sometimes things, they don't work out as quick as you kind of hope for. And, you know, we had COVID as well. <laughs> so there was quite a few panicky moments and stressful moments, but as you know, as soon as my license come through and well, as soon as getting the keys and the license come through, it, it, it was all worth it, you know. So, um, and it just all bit by bit come together. Well, it always starts with a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's got to be prepped for my customer coming in, so. Usually I try and do, uh, I usually tattoo like three or four days a week. So the day off before the first few days, I'll sit and I'll do all my artwork for those appointments to try and be prepared. Those drawings have to be turned into line drawings for my stencil. And that's then what gets put onto my customer. So it's, uh, there's quite a bit of like drawn prep before your customer comes in. Yeah, and then it's, tattooing and it, that could be from you know an hour of tattooing to like six seven hours of tattooing a day uh, depending on how the customers sit in you know if they're doing really well we kind of just push through a full day which can be super long for both of us or your customer i find everybody's super relaxed in here so we'll maybe do a few hours and we'll take a wee break and get something to eat and then go again for a bit and then uh, send them on their way and uh, and then it's another cup of tea <laughs> before I start cleaning up and um, everything obviously gets sterilised and stuff like that and uh, I try and set up for my next day just so I'm, I can go home and not have to worry or think about it and then yeah just go and relax at home. I don't think anything. I've always followed followed my head and my heart throughout my whole career. Like when my a studio I've been in's not been right, I've always moved on. Um, or if I've ever got to a point where I've not enjoyed my job, I've always taken a step back to analyse like why is that? Um, but every studio I've been in, good or bad. Um, has all helped me to get to where I am now and it, it's all had a place so I, yeah I wouldn't I don't think I would have done anything different really just worked really hard Um, like if you want something you know you just got to keep that goal in your mind in the back of your mind and just keep pushing keep striving to be better at your craft and um, good to your customers you know if if you're not good to your customers like there's a total duty of care and at the end of the day if you're good to your customers they'll keep coming back to you and they'll um, recommend you to other people and that's how you're going to be successful you know if you're just decent it is, it's just working dead hard and not thinking that you're you know that you've stopped learning like if you ever feel like that then you need to keep pushing you know and um, I think you get stale when you feel like you, there's no more to learn and um, because there always is in art massively mm -hmm. so it's yeah keep drawing really <laughs> uh, I do have some ideas um, but right now I'm really just focusing on settling. Um, I've had 
I probably, well I've been tattooing about 12 and a half years and I would say for 10 of those years I've had a really long commute. I've travelled all over the country tattooing um, and I'm really glad I did it but now is the time for me to just sort of settle and just enjoy it. Um, I want to really focus on what I'm doing, taking my time and it's been such a long road to get in it that it's, I just want to enjoy it before I start thinking of any new ideas really but there's a few wee things that maybe in the next few years that I would like to do with flock so